All right, you heathens. Let's talk about Christmas. Fox News lit their Christmas tree. The all-American Christmas tree lighting. And we have a very special Christmas performance for you. A gift, if you will, from Fox and Friends. They, what? They are butchering George Michael. That was horrible. That was the furthest thing from a gift. We are so good. Kind of a gag. Carolers are helping us get in the mood. It is We're getting in the mood clinically. American Christmas tree. And joining us to do that are heroes from the NYPD and the FDNY. You fuckers didn't want to watch the lighting of the Christmas tree. On the line every day to keep us. Come on. With us tonight are members of the NYPD's Precinct 32. Wait, last year, what? Didn't the dude set it on fire within like a day or two? Didn't they just light it and they had to uh, get a new tree? Are we going to put up a head of lettuce to compare to the Fox News Christmas tree? In January, they lost detectives Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora in an ambush attack. Oh, well, good. DNY Two more good cops. In September, Lieutenant Allison Russo Elling was senselessly killed after being stabbed in a random assault. Thank you for being a good cop, ma'am. Why is FDNY Assistant Chief Mike Aiello? All right, Mike, we want to thank the F the uh, the fire department in New York City for all the work that you do. And you know, people don't think about it that much, but every time it is shit burn, wrapped around scaffolding. A building a burning house, and I, I watched like the time lapse of it. Is in danger. Yeah, sure, Judge. Thank you so much for having us. It's only fitting. Guys, do you see how much bacon is on that stage? We pause for Are they giving out Christmas hams? Those people no, he's that we judge. lost last oh, year. Yes, burn it down, fry the bacon. Allison Russo. We lost firefighter Timmy Klein. We, we, we can put the hams. All three members. On the rotisserie. The line of duty. All three members epitomize dedication. Yum. And Christmas hams for everybody. Their sacrifice. Yes, and neither will New Yorkers. We thank each and every one of you for all the work you do every day for all of us. God bless you. Yeah, thank you. Smoke those pigs. I'm proud of myself for that one. Inspector Amir Yakatelli, Inspector. <laughs> what up, Inspector? So I got to ask you, how how are the police doing? A cab means you too, Don't Inspector. About how about them? The police are doing great because uh, you know what makes the city. <laughs> the police are doing great. Between the NYPD and the community. And events like this tree lighting tonight are what helped to strengthen that partnership between us and the communities we serve. It is a privilege. Look at this doofus. The men and women of the NYP. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel bad if like there's something wrong with him. He's not all there or something. He probably should be a cop if he's not all there. But he's just kind of like staring out into the into the void <laughs> with a dumb smirk on his face. PD here tonight as we honor and remember the sacrifices made by our fallen heroes, Detective Jason Rivera and Wilbur Mora. We miss you immensely. Aww. And we will we Thank work you, good cops. to carry on your incredible legacy today and every day. To all the family, friends, and co-workers. Is that like the button to light the tree? Because that's a weird looking button. And happy holidays. Thank you, Inspector. And both of you, please- Press the clit. Have you press the button to light press the, the clit? Just a moment. Awesome, thank you. And whoa, 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 whoa! Fox the anticipation. This is my daughter, wait, Leo. wait, 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 wait! Is that a crystal ball clone? Well, how many crystal? And crystal ball is not even the one that's getting the fucking big money contract. Every fucking every channel has their own crystal ball. And Crystal Ball doesn't even get credit for it. She's not the she's not the one making the million dollar fucking money. Shit. I kind of feel bad for her on that one. I'm sure her Substack does well. We're there though. with his dad. This is Jesse and, Jr. <laughs> and the judge, you brought Stella. 
right? Where's Stella? Stella. Stella coming in all her pinkness. Look and the dog. And all the kids. <laughs> Come on, guys. And, and this is JJ. Oh. Wave to everybody. I am I am very sorry, Estella, that that is it a pink poodle? It's it's absolutely gorgeous, and the dog has done nothing wrong. The dog is the most innocent person on the stage, including the kids. The kids have blood on their hands already. Look at those kids. Those are like children of the corn kids. <laughs> those poor innocent kids. <laughs> <laughs> but the puppy, the puppy's completely innocent. Can you wave? Yay! Very Yay. good. Well, we have an extra especially this one. She's she's done some human trafficking. You know it. Look over at the fire the truck. Off. Santa okay. is here. Oh, wow. That kid's involved in the diamond trade. Hey, Merry Christmas. Okay, so the the dye in his hair, the dye. In, okay, I was making fun of the dye in his hair as well, but it was a Halloween costume. I can't remember who they were, but it, it made it made sense after I saw the costume. I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty good. Cause like I thought the hair looked stupid. Let's light the all American tree right now in ten, okay. nine, Hi, eight, seven, seven. six, five. Four, First one wrong. Good three, evening. Take two, a hit when they hit the one. clit. Hey. Hi. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh. Merry you? Christmas. Good, good. I got, I got some candy canes for you. Wait, it ain't even Thanksgiving yet. Merry Christmas. Uh, oh. Here, he's giving out a little treat. You want, to, you want some oh, candy? We'll yeah. see. You ready? Oh my God! Why do we have to hear some creepy fucking dude ask kids if they want? Oh, it's Santa. Thank you so much. Okay, if you're listening to the podcast, the camera had not cut back to where I saw it was Santa asking the kids if they wanted candy. Square. Merry Christmas. Anybody? Anybody else? Offering kids candy from Fox News. Kids say no. No, 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 no. If someone from Fox News offers you candy, no. But if that's like a trained, licensed Santa, that Santa's union, okay, you can you can accept that candy. Has everyone seen the Christmas special of It's Sunny in Philadelphia? I don't want to, I don't want to side it. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I was, I was getting ready to give you your, your, oh, we do. There's another, there's another side to this story, isn't there? So that was the Fox News <laughs> Great American Christmas Tree Lighting from last night. And within hours, within hours, Laura Ingram was talking about how Joe Biden was too pro-Christmas. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Fox News has made a, a big, uh, uh, you can call it a, a ballyhoo, uh, about a war on Christmas. Biden White House jumps the gun on Christmas. Now I tried to, I tried to find the full clip. I was unable to. Biden White House jumps the gun on Christmas. You can see that is the screen grab from last night's episode of the Ingram Angle. They are bringing a Christmas tree to the White House. The Chiron says Biden White House. I'm, let, let me move my camera so you can all see clearly. Biden White House jumps the gun on Christmas. Dark Brandon launching the war on Christmas counteroffensive. And this was just mere hours after they lit their own fucking Christmas tree. 
mere hours after they lit their own Christmas tree. They are on camera saying Biden jumped the gun on Christmas. Now, I will agree to an extent, like, he's putting up the tree this week, right? So, like, this weekend, because that's the tradition. You're supposed to put up the tree Thanksgiving weekend. That's 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 what I was always told when I was, I was growing up. The tree goes up Thanksgiving weekend. It's usually a long weekend. The whole family's there. You pretend you do the hot chocolate. You listen to Christmas music. You go out shopping on the Friday or whatever. That's that's what I was told was the tradition. Some people like to put their tree up early. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to fault them for that. Fair enough. What um. What I would like to see is keep everything past Thanksgiving. I would like to keep Christmas in the in in December last week of November is totally fine. It's totally fine. Some of you some of you some of you people like getting them to the Christmas before the Halloween. I can't I can't do that. I can't do that yet. Let the Halloween play out. Some some people get to the Halloween before the like the fourth of July even happens. He's giving the New Year's a good timing for grace period. Okay, a grace period either way. I like that. Grace period either way. Just it seems it seems like a good like it's a good marker. Some people have some people really like Christmas, like Mick Foley. Mick Foley really into the Christmas. But like Thanksgiving is a perfectly fine holiday if it's retooled and we like we 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 give thanks to shit that actually happened in American history instead of a mythological version of American history. I'm totally fine with that, right? And then we built our own American mythologies about turkeys and shit and popular culture shit happens. And I'm I'm into it. I'm into celebrating that kind of shit. Have you heard the freaking news? YouTube, Facebook, and all of big tech are trying to do a cancel culture on Justin Freakin. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Help the channel stay alive and grow by subscribing or following, and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the fun, even when one platform tries to shut us up. He's kicking authority in the balls. If you have a despair and really want to show support, consider subbing on Twitch, becoming a patron, or a member on YouTube. You'll get access to extra delights and debauchery, and you'll have my eternal appreciation. Thank you for being a freaking follower, and have a great freaking day.